This is Miller. This is your Thompson. Honey or sugar? Think of a better one. Would you like a drink? Terrific idea. Hey, you lost weight. You look great. <laughs> well, you look terrible. We're working too hard again, right? You said it. Huh? Four days in Chicago, two in New York, back to New York, on a plane to London. Peggy, I told you the minute you came in from school to change out of that skirt and into some pants, I want you to do it right now, please, ma'am. Do what your mother says. That's all I'm asking. you should have called me. I didn't feel like calling you. I felt like surprising you. And don't tell me I'm in violation of my visiting rights. But you're in violation of your visiting rights. So take me to court. Would you two like us to leave? Uh, uh, absolutely not. I want you to just stay right where you are, please. Look, I have an idea. Why don't I take you and Peggy to dinner today? Uh, because we already have plans. Oh, listen to Remus, you, uh, you can't just show up just uh, right out of the blue like that and, and uh, expect everybody to just change everything all around for you, you know? I know. Mm, smells good. Oh, Remus, I have a life of my own now, you know? Come on, Daddy. I want to show you my new dollhouse. Mommy buy it with the money you sent for my birthday. Okay. Thanks for the drink. See you later. These birds will keep, you know. Doc, we've been planning this pheasant dinner for over a week now. Well, there's enough, if you want to ask him. Plenty of biscuits? You want me to ask him? Now, honey, would you walk me to the car? Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Uh, come on. Down you go. Harry Randall, this is my daddy. Hello, Harry Randall. What does he do? He works for money and Doc Britton. Lots of other people. Where are you going now? Well, honey, I have to get back to the inn, make some phone calls. You know, my office doesn't even know where I am. I have no school tomorrow. It's Saturday. I know. Are you going to go to the Harvest Festival? I sure am. How long are you going to stay? Well, that depends on a lot of things. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye, Dad. Bye, sweetheart.
Hello? Hello? Andy, my Helen. Yes, hello. Andy, my Helen. I missed the school bus. Come and get me. Who is this? It's Michael. What? Hello? Hello? Nothing. It was just a crank call. What kind of a crank call? Well, like it sounded like a little boy. He, he said he was Michael. You were Michael? You know, he called me Auntie My Helen. Nobody but Michael ever called me that. Oh, he's been dead in a doornail for 15 years. Docs, this is not funny. Who would do such a thing? Probably one of those crazy boys out at Greenlee School. Peggy, I've told you, don't call them crazy. Goodbye, darlings. We see you soon, yeah? Good. Bye. Not. Listen, I don't hate anybody. It's not nice to hate. I love him. I know you do, darling. I wish he lived here more of the time. Who's Michael? You come on upstairs and take that bath. Hello? Andy, my Helen? Why didn't you pick me up? I'm still waiting for you. You know, this isn't funny. Who is this? What's wrong, Andy, my Helen? Please come. Who is this? Is that Michael again? Peggy, I told you to go take your bath. I just had dinner with the Remus, and I thought I'd tell you, you know, before anybody accuses me of collaborating with the enemy. What's the matter? Greg, I just had two telephone calls from a little boy who said he was Michael. You're kidding. He called me Auntie My Helen. But that's impossible. Craig, it couldn't possibly be one of your patients, could it? Ah, uh, ah, uh, now no, we don't call them patients. Look, the Greenleaf School is a school for emotionally disturbed children. Yeah, but there's a lot of other kids in this town that are just as mischievous as the worst boys in Greenleaf. Maybe it's Michael Landers. He's always playing jokes. Oh. Becky Connolly, if you're not in that bathtub in two seconds flat, there's going to be no television for you for the whole week. I mean it right now. You want me to answer it? Please. Hello? Who's this? The Remus? Craig? Yeah. Did I dial the wrong number? I was trying Helen. No, 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 she's right here. Just a minute. The Remus, thank you for a nice dinner. Don't mention. Hello? I'm calling to see what time I can pick up my daughter tomorrow. Dreamers, you're not playing tricks on me, are you? What? I mean, this is the first time you've called here tonight, right? Well, yeah. I tried earlier, but your line was busy. Why? Nothing. Look, uh, what plans do you have with Peggy for tomorrow? Oh, nothing definite. Hey, why don't you take the day off and three of us spend it together like old times, huh? I can't. Well, let's have dinner tomorrow night. I mean, we have to be family once while I'm here. All right, I'll cook something. Uh, look, would you pick her up at 9.30 in the morning, please? Right. And 
And if you change your mind about it... I won't. Good night, Remus. Good night. I'm neurotic enough to give that monster the chance to make my life miserable all over again. Oh, Craig, what should I do? I think you ought to give him another chance. I mean about the phone calls. Change your number. Oh, I'm not that upset about it. And I do... I do so much business on the telephone. Well, whoever it is, maybe he'll get tired, you know, and he'll get interested in something else like... like sex. Oh, thanks a lot, Doctor. You're a big help. You'll get my bill in the morning. Good night, love. Good night. Good night, Peggy. Night. Whoever you are, just please stop it. There's nobody here. Where's Craig? Where's my father? Uh, could you just tell me what do you want? Who? Just, just please try and tell me what you want. <coughs> Michael. Anymore. You know that? Who's Michael? Michael who? I heard Mummy and Craig talking about Michael. Oh. They must have been talking about Craig's brother. Craig doesn't have a brother. Well, he died a long time ago. Before you were born. That's what I thought. Did Michael live with Mummy like Craig? Yeah, I think both boys moved in with Mummy. After their mother went away. She was Mommy's sister, right? Right! She was crazy. Who said that? John Boyer. He said his mother says our whole family's crazy. That Craig is, and Mommy is, and that I'm a little nut. <laughs> <laughs> is that why you and Mommy don't live together? Because she's crazy? No. Because I am. <laughs> 